Hello, Monet Cafe Art family. This is Susan Jenkins, and I'm so glad to be back from the cruise that I announced um, last week that I was going on my husband's company cruise. It was awesome, but as you know that uh, if you read the announcement, I had to postpone announcing the winner of our February painting challenge. If you're new to our group, every month we have a painting challenge category where artists upload paintings that meet that particular category criteria. In the month of February, it was uh, streams, brooks, creeks, any little flowing body of water, and wow, did you guys submit some amazing work. But I had to uh, wait until I got back to my cruise to announce the winners um, that I typically announce on the first of the following month. But uh, we have two categories that we announce winners in. One is beginner, one is advanced. A beginner category is basically someone who's been painting really in any medium for less than a year, even not just pastels. And the reason for that is we don't want someone who's been painting in watercolor for 20 years to still be considered a beginner and in that beginner category. I'm sure that makes sense. And we also have the advanced category. Both category winners of every month will receive a prize. We currently have that going. Hopefully we can keep it going. But right now we have it through the Pan Pastel Company. Each winner will get a, a choice of some selections of Pan Pastels. So. Um, I'm going to be announcing the winner. I thought this would be a neat way to do it right here. Um, I'm going to feature some of the uh, advanced category paintings that I really loved. Here's, here's the album. We had um, over 200 paintings submitted for this month's challenge. And you guys know, I always say, this is one of the hardest things I do in life <laughs> because these are amazing. Um, but I thought I might let you join in on my process and how I do this. I typically just go into the album and start going through paintings, kind of noticing what's beginner and what's advanced. And then I pull out some of my favorites. I don't pay any attention to the names. It doesn't matter if you've won before or not. Um, you'll just, you would have to, if you want it a second time, you'd just get some more pan pastels. They allow you to choose different colors. So um, I'm going to show you some of the paintings in the advanced category that I have uh, kind of uh, just stood out to me as some awesome paintings. So let me go back here, kind of start to the beginning. I think I need to pull my screen down a little so you can see them better. Yeah. All right. This is a painting. I wanted to point this one out because it, it caught my eye and I noticed it was from of our faith one from one of our faithful members, Angela Moffat. Angela's been in our group for a while, and if I think I'm correct in that she just came out of the beginner category and into the advanced. So now she's just been over a year painting. And I just am just so proud of how far she's come. And this is a lovely painting, Angela. And welcome to the advanced category. Nice work. Um, this painting here, it just grabbed me for its sense of light. Um, the values are spot on with this. You really get the feeling of the time of day it is. It just feels like the warmth of the sun overhead. And uh, I love the brickwork here. Often as artists, we put too many details in and we think we have to draw every brick. And this is just very well done. I wanted to see if I could make some of these a little bigger. Um, and uh, I just love this. This is really, really nice. Kathy Zap or Zappy or Zappe. Um, I hope I got that right. Um, and now this one is from Cindy Mira Kenakria. Perhaps I said that right. And uh, this one, don't you feel the sense of movement in the water? Uh, and I love the looseness of it. It just really draws you in. You want to just kind of play around and look around at all the different movements in the water. Um, that waterfall that's to the middle to upper left there, it has that sheerness to it, just like water really behaves. So nice sense of movement, beautiful color palette, and beautiful colors in that water. Beautiful work, Cindy. This is another one by the same artist, and uh, I loved how the water, you really could feel almost like the stair step effect of the water going down that little brook. I've seen places uh, in the mountains of North Carolina that look just like that, and a lovely sense of depth and movement and color here. This one by Donatella Nimbrini, I wanted to point out because it's got an excellent uh, rendering of loose grasses. We often as artists get in a uh, bad habit 
of drawing things uh, almost like soldiers or, or um, just the same, you know, the same stroke or the same movement. And this has that looseness to the grasses, the little hints of things, not even it, like a broken line in some of the grasses. And it's just lovely. Nice color palette, nice movement. This one took my breath away by Donna Teresa. And uh, I just felt a sense of calm when I looked at this. And uh, sometimes there's a painting that just really makes you just take a deep breath and wish you were there. And uh, I really felt that way with this painting. I love how there's a coolness to the foreground. Notice the water in the foreground is cooler and the water in the middle to background is warmer. You really get the sense that either there's uh, uh, trees behind you that's making a shadow or perhaps clouds overhead. And uh, what an excellent painting. I really loved this, Donna. Nice work. This one is by Jared Gunnerson, and I've been uh, admiring his work in our group for some time, and he just gets better and better. Uh, I love his uh, impressionistic style and almost a geometric feel to this particular painting. Notice the tree work in the distance, the uh, very uh, subdued geometric shapes that are just nondescript, and uh, I, the color palette is gorgeous. Uh, beautiful work, Jared. Keep it up. I, I do believe, uh, I think you won uh, one of our categories before. Uh, it's hard for me to keep up and remember all these things, but uh, nice work. I loved this painting as soon as I saw it. This one just had a nice, easy feel to it. I think maybe this was done with an underpainting, maybe a warmer underpainting. I loved the looseness, the bits of the underpainting showing through, and uh, just a nice, easy color palette. Um, that just felt very comforting to me. This is Jennifer Richard Moreau. Beautiful work. This one I loved. It's got such a nice uh, impressionistic feel, almost Van Goghish to me, or, or perhaps Monet, really, actually. Um, and uh, I don't see a lot of heavy contrast in this. Sometimes I have a habit of doing that a lot in my work, but often I like paintings that are maybe softer in contrast and this one is so lovely there's looseness in those trees and um, and just the the cool colors in the grasses in the water there is just so nice nice reflections Kathy Chisholm Kappler beautiful lovely lovely painting this one is awesome by Linda Fabricante Cole. Uh, I love the big masses of shapes she did. She didn't get overwhelmed in breaking everything up with detail. It's just enough. And that big wide waterway that draws you in is so nice with the uh, loose grasses in the foreground. A lot of times grasses in the foreground um, can create a barrier to our eyes coming in, but she kept them so loose and painterly that it it just invites you in. I love the color palette in this beautiful painting, Linda. This one was just very well uh, rendered quite nicely and, um, and well done overall. This is Aura Brown, and uh, the water just pulls you right into those background trees. I loved the rendering of these evergreen trees. You've got a real knack for that, and uh, nice shadows. Uh, I love the very cool. This is a perfect example of what we talk about a lot. If you want to create depth in your painting, the background, the furthest trees in the back, notice how light they are in value. They're cooler in color and they're paler, less chroma in the background. And this, this ends up making this painting have a lot of depth. A nice painting aura. This one by Patricia Wilt is just so well rendered. I love her stroke work and uh, especially the uh, uh, like the sky holes and the warm colors and tones behind those background trees and that splash of purple. The water is rendered beautifully. Um, this one just pulls you in and, and the color palette is just fantastic. Beautiful painting, Patricia. This one by Paul Gustafson. I believe if my memory serves me correctly, he mentioned that he struggled with this. He, I don't think he's been doing pastel long, but he has a um, obvious experience. I think it was an oil painting, and it shows. Uh, he's got a nice sense of uh, style. Um, I love the water in this one. You can feel that it has a sense of movement to it, and the, the color palette is so soft and pleasing. So whatever you're doing, Paul, even if you were struggling, keep it up. I think you're going to just get the totally the hang of pastel art. You already are. <laughs> um, this next one, oh, doesn't it just have that sense of brightness? 
you can tell this is a super bright time of the day because of the warmth of those grasses and she kept a very um, analogous uh, color palette here that feels very soothing. I get the feeling of that sunlight that's just hitting the tops of those trees and grasses. Great sense of movement in the water. Overall a beautiful painting. Sanchita Vishwanath. I think I said that right. And this is Sandy Young. She actually did both of these paintings. Look at these beauties. Aren't they gorgeous? Sandy, you have such a nice, soothing style. I'm always, I always feel at peace when I look at your work. Um, I can tell you have a love for creation. And um, this painting is so well rendered. I love the rocks in this. You get a little sense of movement of the water. The composition is beautiful, just draws you in. And look at those lovely clouds. She has just enough there. And that doesn't that really feel like a cloudy day you've seen before? Um, and she kept her values harmonious with the cloud cover. So well done, Sandy. This one, just look how gorgeous. I love the sun and the sun's reflection in the water. Um, you've done an excellent job at, at creating the rendering of the water to be believable, just pulling you right into this beautiful painting. This one just felt fresh. I thought it had a nice um, energy to the trees in the background. I like that big, massive rock overhanging the water. I got a sense of its mass. Um, nice work, Susan Elizabeth Clark. And uh, this one here by Toby Reed. Toby, you've done a beautiful job here. Uh, the composition is gorgeous. And uh, I think this looks like a subject matter that would be difficult to paint, but you've done it so beautifully with, uh, with just enough detail to uh, get a sense of what it is, you know, this uh, rock cliff coming off a mountain with the water that comes out of the rocks and gathers together and, and tumbles down. And uh, you've created such energy and a, a beautiful color palette that just makes my eye want to hang out in this painting for a while. Um, I love the looseness to the trees. Um, you've done something that sometimes is very hard for artists to do, which is uh, uh, to not overwork it and uh, you've done a beautiful job on this Toby so without further ado these were some of the paintings that I I loved and uh, let me go back here and um, give you my selection it's so hard oh my gosh these are all gorgeous my winning selection for this um, painting challenge is this painting by Donna Teresa now I wanted to give you some of the reasoning because I thought sometimes you guys might think why'd she choose that painting sometimes some of you say that's the one I would have chosen too but as you can see from all these paintings, that's a hard choice. So I thought I'd give you the reasoning. I thought this one just had that wow factor and it felt truly like art. Um, I like when a painting gives you a feeling and an emotion. I think that's the beauty of art is that we as artists can take a scene that or a, something that's in real life and transform it into a feeling and that's what I got with this painting and uh, I just got it has such a nice dreamy feel to it and uh, just something that I would love to just look at for a very long time and um, and you know just maybe uh, read my Bible and pray and just have artwork like this just to motivate and inspire me. So Donna, this is a beautiful painting. Um, uh, you uh, are in the company of so many beautiful paintings within the whole challenge, not just these that I pulled out to look at. So congratulations, Donna. And uh, you will be receiving some pan pastels as a, an award, a congratulations award. And also this lovely painting will now become the header image to our Monet Cafe Art Group on Facebook. Bravo, yay. Congratulations to all of you. I am so pleased with my art family and our happy little group here in Monet Cafe.